the semiotics of silence. Poets dance in our dreams after the bars close, their naked feet slapping out a rhythm to keep us from slipping into sleep. I'll remember you as you were there then, a birthmark in my brain sitting nearly naked, propped up in your dining room table, not like we found you a turtle trapped on your back, crashed up against the free weights, crushed beneath the ancient bench press, pretending we're still a prisoner. Your pale old skin already deathly sickly cold, gray straggling hair stuck wetly to your forehead, yellowed teeth like broken barnacles, spitting out poems or just drooling in time to some secret rhythm. Yes, we propped you up in your chair so we could share ice cream and cookies and wine on your birthday with a candle and a song and shitty diapers beneath the skimpy black briefs you still wore at 82. The room's light was yellow like your teeth, like an exhausted wave drifting in a dead sea, hurt and or damaged. The connection lost to all articles and like bullets, like sperm, like every old one was a child somewhen. Maybe when the discos shook with mirror balls and brought the sun indoors. Maybe like a golden Abyssinian pointed into the darkness at night everlasting. The dull earth radiates coldness and the scent of everything long past. St. James the Infirm rings random moments without meaning. It's always coming, this future built of fire on the wreckage of the past. Words without end. The semiotics of silence.